catching up on some Eric the Electric here. But it is Wednesday morning and I woke up feeling, well, I went to bed feeling pretty sick and now I feel kind of the same. But I had a good training session Monday night, which you guys watched, and I was maybe planning on skipping the gym or going later, but Eric just put up this pretty badass video about his, uh, I think it's like a five hour ride or something. So even though I'm sick, I'm still going to get it in and just get it done. Just kind of go easy. But um, really trying to push the weights and PR on uh, these Wednesday push days. But that might not be in the bag today as far as weight. But if uh, you know everything feels good, we'll give it a shot. But I'm going to get a quick breakfast in and head to the gym. And uh, shout out to Eric for this video. It's pretty epic. And uh, yeah, good job on that five-hour ride or longest ride of the year. It's pretty insane. But let's get to training and I will see you guys in the gym. Well, I'll show you what I eat first right now. Add volume to your rice bras. Crush your broccoli. Always been an egg white guy, but I'm gonna give these a shot because I've always seen Matt Ogus eating these, so see how the egg beaters come out. I think they look gross, but that's because I was expecting egg whites last time I made them. Seven servings. L U I. Alright, I'll show you guys how everything looks when it's done. So there it is. Extra buffalo, clear the sinuses. Let's see how these egg yellow whites taste. All right, egg substitute. About the same, let's finish this up at the gym. Get right into this workout guys you just saw me hit um 225 for my five by five it felt actually really really light so fix this camera angle here there we go it actually felt really light so um definitely made some improvements on the five by five with 225 however i'm really disliking the five by five rep range as a whole for progression i just feel like it's um too much volume spread out over too many sets so I think something like seven sets of two would be would feel way better just the form breakdown you get on reps three through five after doing five by five over and over is a little bit uh, uncomfortable to me and if I want to add five pounds and do like 235 or um, 230 I just feel like it's a little bit too much of a jump maybe as I start getting stronger or trying to progress so I'm probably going to keep any 5x5 five five work I do on the flat bench capped at 225. But what I'm going to start doing is uh, just trying to make improvements like doing 235 for like 3x3 three three and slowly work up from there. But I am liking how the block feels the most. So I think I'm going to stick with the block press. And even though I'm not getting a full stretch on the pecs, I can make up for that on the incline, which you saw me hit for just a couple sets of 55 pounds. But I was literally bringing the dumbbells as far down as possible. And then I went back to the lat pull down. I saw a comment and responded to it. Someone telling me how my training is like all over the place that I'm, I should be like progressing and tracking my lifts. But I don't, don't really know what they're talking about because you guys are seeing me do the same exact exercises over and over in the past like five videos. So 
lat pull down I change up the weight and the rep scheme and with the meadows press downs I did as well but it's all being tracked and I'm seeing good strength progress on all of these lifts pretty much since today's push focus day, the four sets of front raises, uh, front delts is not something I worry about. If you're progressing on pressing movements, you shouldn't worry about progressing on isolating delt movements for the front delt. You should just hit them and obviously keep track of your progress, but don't make that a major movement. So I just want to add in some extra work. Ladies killing it back there on the dancing, Myron. But uh, <laughs> ended up hitting five sets of 120 for 10 with as hard of a squeeze as I could. So that was good. And um, just moved on and finished up with some tricep work some abs and some calves. It was a long workout, it was about two hours. I just got done hitting a 30 minute mobility session which I need to start introducing. I never ever got injured when I did like 40 minutes of mobility a day. The thing is it's just such a bitch because um, after a long workout mobility is tough to do and if you're training abs and like arms and chest and back it's really hard to hold the positions that you need to hold to mobilize in. So I stopped doing it during prep because I didn't have the energy to do it at all which I kind of regret doing, but I mean, I don't know a lot of people that have 40, 45 minutes a day to hit mobility and then shower and like treat it like another workout. So it's something I'm gonna start making time for, but again, it is not easy. So um, something I'm doing new on calves is gonna stick my feet close together and then like this and then point them toes in a little bit on my favorite movement, which is the standing calf. I was actually watching a bodybuilder do this. It's a little bro sciency. But anytime you can change your joint angle and kind of like rotate the tires on the mo movement of the joint that you're hitting, it's probably healthy for it. So, uh, no problems with calves. I've been slacking on hitting them, but we're back in full force. So, stay tuned for the rest of the video. You're going to see what I eat right now. Um, I eat post workout and I'm going to get my last meal in now. So, I will see you guys after this video. But enjoy some, uh, some Avicii. They were bumping in the gym on this last set. Thanks for watching. What's going on guys? So it is exactly 8 o'clock p.m. It's a little dark out. It's like 83 degrees. That's why I'm sweating a little bit. It's almost December in Miami and you still have to wear a tank top and shorts everywhere. But uh, you guys just saw my last meal, which I had a couple hours ago. And um, I did a little bit of work at school here and now I'm going to go home. I'm going to get in like a 30 minute mobility session. I'm gonna get back on my mobility grind. I know like two months ago I was talking about like how, oh yeah, I'm gonna start doing it every day. But I didn't really have the time, but now it's really not an option. It's kind of something that I have to do if I wanna improve my training and keep putting on size. It's just a necessity now, so I guess other things will have to wait. But I'm gonna go home, crush a 30 minute mobility session, which is pretty much like cardio because your heart rate gets at least to like 120 the whole time, at least for me and then I'm gonna get in my last meal. I'm only about 1,000 calories in today. I'm trying to hit three to 3.5K, so I think I'm gonna treat myself to a power pizza and go pick that up after mobility. So I'll show you guys that right after this quick mobility clip, which will be quick for you guys, but will take forever for me. So let's get to it. <clears throat> let's get this mobility going. About half an hour, 10 minute squat test. That's over. I'm gonna do a uh, four to five minute shoulder stretch here and then hit my five way shoulder mobility. Okay, guys, 50 more minutes shoulder stretching. We're chilling. Finally, almost done. Gotta do a lat stretch. Need a high point so we can move, but it's time to eat after that. Fresh out the oven. We made it. XL pizza, 200 cows a slice, two, four, six. It's going down. 
at that. It's pretty big. Stole some red pepper. Had to do it. Hope I can finish this. Shouldn't be a problem. It brings me about 3,500 cows. Good day. That was damn good. Camera's overheating. One more slice. Gonna finish this. Hit the sack. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.